What's up? You're on with Mario Lopez. Joining me now in studio, the host of America's Funniest Home Videos, my man Alfonso Rivero. How are you, What's man? What's up, buddy? I was trying to figure out when we first met and how long I've known you, but it's got to be at least 25 years. Oh, definitely. Right? Uh, like, so what, when did you... Because I remember we you hung... You Kids Incorporated. Yes, but wait, bit, we didn't know right? each other back in Kids Incorporated. I think so, because I was what? friends. Well, I was fun, friends with Stacy and Martika Where back you, then. Really? Yeah, did yeah. Did you swing so by the set? I would I'm, come by the set every once in a while. Well, I'm so that, I was like ten. Right. So that's wow. So we're really? not going to do age, but yeah, yeah. yeah, let's not do age. But <laughs> well, I remember, you know, the memories I have is back in the day. Um, we were both on NBC shows at the right, time. Right. We'd kick it at the uh, uh, NBA All Star Games. Right. Yes. That those was, were those fun were the times. Best. Those, those were, the best. were fun times. Those were like times. 90, 91, 92, yes. right? Because like Jordan was playing, Barkley was yep. playing. Yeah. So yeah, that was All Star cool. Weekends used to be that. Remember the uh, it was the summer jams, right? Yes. Was, uh, not summer, but the uh, NBA. Uh, NBA summer something or well, not well, summer, but uh, uh, well, well, Saturday night or the, yeah, yeah, they had some sort of like, but, but it was a big party essentially, yes, essentially for the whole weekend right there. So yeah. it's cool, man. I'm so glad you've been busy and everything going well now with yeah, families. Same here. I and know. Let's, and let's fast forward uh, working on AFV and AFV. I couldn't believe this. Been on for almost thirty years. Talking about yeah. time. Yeah. And I remember. I think it was um, uh, homeboy from uh, Full House. What's his name? Bob Saget. Uh, Saget. Bob Saget. Thank you, yep, Bob yep. Saget. Uh, who was here actually not that long ago? Bob Saget, and then for a hot second it was like Daisy Fuentes, right, right, and, then, and Dan and, Fogelson. Yes, and Dan then, Fogelson, and then uh, and then Tom Bergeron. And you know, you would think because of the the evolution of the iPhone and what happened that it might take it away, but it's been done th- done nothing but contribute to it. Absolutely. Right? So like everybody has their phone. Like my phone's sitting right here on the table, right? Like yeah. everybody has their phone yeah. readily available. And so people are constantly shooting videos. Right. And so we actually now get more submissions than Bob ever got. Right. Like right. because right. everybody has Everybody's it available. Back then you had yes. to have, you know, on your shoulder yeah, yeah. taking video, <laughs> right? You know, the, the exactly. big VCR they would send in the VCR tape. Yes. Now they have an app, the AFV app, where you can download straight from your phone right to the computer right to the to the producers. Right. So it's become so easy. And like the, the the other thing that I find very interesting is because that was that was really the question when I came onto the show was okay, the internet, like you want to see stupid videos. You go on the internet, yeah. right? But if you have kids, you don't want them going on the internet. Right. Because eventually you're going to end up watching a video or your kids watching a video that you don't want them to watch. Right. Whereas AFV every Sunday night is a safe haven for stupid, funny videos that you couldn't see, that you don't want your kids seeing on the internet. Absolute uh, fun family programming. Right. <clears throat> we love to watch it with the kids. <laughs> and I got to admit, maybe I'm a little guilty for saying but. And nothing makes me laugh more than somebody wiping out. Right. Somebody gets yes. hurt and wipe it out, and they put the little cute music and little laugh track. All of a sudden, it's cool. But then you're like, whoa! If you really stop and think if you about stop some and of think these. about some of them, yeah. yo, that's like, yo, that dude had to really hurt himself. Yes, that you had. To, he so had to break something. We're the same because ep- yeah. we call them epic fails. Right. And right. I, that are, that are that's basically my my favorite videos because I just I love watching people do stuff, and you're like, okay, why would you do that? Right. Like I'm always asking on stage. I'm like, why? Why would that person decide to do this? But I'm certainly happy they did. Yeah, yeah. No, it never gets old. Yeah, well, I mean, it never gets never, old. Do you have a, a favorite so far? Um, I don't have a fa- like. There's one that I think is is always like for the last year and a half have been my favorite. Um, we had a finalist last season, and it was these two kids going on a slingshot ride, and the little brother asks his older brother to go on the ride with him. Right, so he's like, you know, come on, come on, come on. And the older brother's like, okay, cool, fine, I'll go on. They get strapped in, and the older brother starts losing his mind ah. uh, because he now he's totally scared, and the little brother's like all in. Yeah. So the ride starts off, and the older brother's ah! and he passes out. Oh my god! Right, <laughs> and then he comes to and starts. Ah! And passes out again. <laughs> and the little brother's like, I'm so sorry. Thank you for coming on the ride, but I'm so sorry. And then the guy wakes up again. I'm still on it. And he's screaming the whole ride. It's just to me like the the stupidity of the older brother to go on that yeah. ride to me was like, I, you're out of your mind. Was that like just a, footage from the the ride itself? The ride you? itself. Yeah, so like the, they, the slingshot cameras, ride has a yeah, GoPro yeah, just, yeah. or whatever it is shooting. Yeah. So you can get a video sure. of yourself on the ride because that's what people want to do. Yeah, yeah. You want a video of yourself 
scared out of your mind right, that you can right. take home and show your friends. People love that on all the rides. Yeah, so sometimes yeah. cameras just capture things, too, just by and, accident, which is uh, a lot of fun. And I'm not mad at it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, we've talked about this before, man, but uh, you, you love golf. You've been yes. golfing for a while. Yep, yep. And, and you're good. You're like legit good golfer. Uh, and like random things, too. Golf, race car driving at one point. I remember right, that's right. another uh, memory I remember. Yeah, back Mark in the day. Paul and I did. Yeah. Uh, used, to, used to race professionally for, for a while. Yeah. Um, but it was Mark, could Mark Paul, could he race? No, he could race. He was good. He was, he was almost as fast as me. Because people will be me. telling you they're good. I mean, he said, I was almost <laughs> as fast as me. I no, didn't no, know no, how he good fast. he was. He was fast. He was, I mean, he wasn't as fast as me. I was one, but he right. was fast. <laughs> <laughs> MP was my man, but he, come on, I'll show you how to do this. That's funny. Um, did you but, get older and want to just. No pun intended. Pump the brakes on that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you know, really, when I had my when I had my first kid was when I realized, oh, so I kind of really do want to be around for her. Yeah. And you just have that parent moment where you actually see danger. Before that, like I never saw danger. Like it just didn't occur. Like yeah. okay, and we were talking about this actually earlier today. Like you had to put your blood type on your helmet. In case you got into an accident yeah. and needed like a that, blood transfusion, they that, needed to know that's a flag your blood right there, type, like, right? No. <laughs> but like your brain would like, I'm not even looking, like you wouldn't see yeah, it. Yeah, but the yeah. moment I had my kid, like my brain went, oh, so you could really hurt yourself. Like yeah. for real, for real. Yeah. And so then I, it kind of, it kind of yeah, yeah. went away. So I that's pumped smart, the brakes. You got I pumped the it. brakes. I, I did it. I got to cool. do it. I loved it. I have a blast. Like, Hence you know, you're doing. Go uh, you're in golf. I, I'm not, <laughs> but golf, you, you know, as long as you don't stand in front of somebody, right. you shouldn't die. Yeah, exactly. You know? well, that's I mean, my point. You play with somebody who don't know how to play. A shank. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> but, funny, yeah. man. And then I had like a great weekend this last weekend. I was uh, up at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am, and uh, me and my partner, we finished fifth out of 156 oh, teams, look at that. which was pretty pretty awesome yeah. so um but the but the game of golf like that that's got me fully like and, and, 100%. and who are some of the other um uh good celebrity golfers that uh you well with? i would say like the best actor golfer is uh jack wagner yeah Jack Wagner's great. He got Oliver like a Hudson. legend around him. Yeah, no, no. Jack, <laughs> From like Jack back in the play. day. Jack yeah, could yeah, play. Yeah. Um, like, I'm closer to Jack today than, than maybe, you know, let's say 10 years ago. Um, another uh, Oliver Hudson okay. is is really good. Um, uh, uh, Chris O'Donnell is uh, normally pretty good. Okay. Um, I think lately he's been... He, the way my wife always says it, Angela will always say, um, when you're a scratch, you're not working enough. Oh. So... I'm a four right now, okay, so I'm not okay. working. En I'm working definitely enough, yeah. <laughs> and not enough on my golf game. You, uh, you like to uh, wager? Um, I we we have our games because uh, that's you know who the real ballers are. Yeah, well, we <laughs> they can we do it we impression. will yeah. we will gamble at on our home course. We have a we do a thing called a five dollar or ten dollar Nassau, which is basically you got four or five bets going, and and yeah. uh, you know some people do skins and yeah. those kinds of things. Up. But you know it can add up. You yeah. know the Fine. other day we played this game called the dot game, and I won four hundred ninety dollars. There so, you go. You know sometimes <laughs> it was the most ever. No one's ever yeah. won that much in the dot game yeah. you, uh, it, in it, my group. When you put away on anything it just goes next I, I remember playing racquetball or stupid stuff. you put like okay a Gatorade whoever wins and I'm <laughs> and like you know, diving in, yeah. and, doing, in. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it's Gatorade or 10 grand because we are just we are in it right no there. question uh, when you bet it adds it's like the person who has to hand the other person the money actually like you, there's, a, there's a feeling of like no, I don't ever want to Reach into my pocket yeah. and hand you a five dollar bill. Right. Like I'm right. Nah. But if I do lose, I'm gonna do it right away because I don't want to like, owe anybody. No, right. no, no. You, 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 we, we don't get past the starter stand. Right. And are like you know, we literally. Okay, you want? Here's your money. Bang. We're yeah. done. Good. Good. Exactly. You That's know, where you should but, leave it. You know, because I know some. I know some big names. That uh, have a hard time paying their bets. Oh, that's not a that's not a mo you want. No, no, no. One of the, <laughs> one of the dudes is on your wall back here. Oh, oh one of the dudes on your really? wall back there. Okay, is that why yeah. he's crying? Yeah, he's crying because <laughs> he because he lost he lost the golf bet. <laughs> Wait, how is he? All right, he'll remain nameless. Yeah, that's he'll remain nameless. You know, right there. I do sometimes want to get invited to his tournaments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. You can see that who that is on the video if yeah, you watch yeah, it online. Fair, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> we'll leave that one be. I've heard stories. <laughs> so reboots seem to be doing really well right now from right. and Grace and Full House uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air uh, it came out about the same time uh, right, right. around that Say by the Bell so 
if approached and they had a new spin on the idea, would you entertain it? Or what are your thoughts on like revisiting? Uh, never going to happen. Um, and I always reserve the right that there's always a number. Um, you know, there's always a number to make somebody do something they don't want to do. Right. Um, but that number would have to be more than I think the show would ever or, or could ever pay me to make me do it. And the reason, mostly the reason is, is I spent most of my career trying to stop being that person to the world. So to go back to it would ultimately mean in my mind that basically the rest of my career, I get to no longer work. Right. So the way I've always explained it is imagine for a second, you create a, a character that you do so well that people will never let you act again. That's what Carlton did for me, mm. right? So I was never really able to dive into doing what I love to do because I did that role so well that they basically, the business shut me down in that realm. And so to go back to it is like, well, what, what would be the reason? I spent 20 some odd years trying to get away from right. that character and be able to reinvent myself and create something that I enjoy doing and I'm enjoying hosting. So why go back to acting to do something that I did in the past? I, if I'm going to go back to acting, I want to go back to do something that's new and, and, and inspiring and something like that. And mm -hmm. I get how people love the idea of the past. That's flattering. Like, you know what I mean? Like, sure. I, and, and I, and I appreciate that love, right. but I can't in my mind see where the positive in it for me would be. Got it. Right. So sure. they would have to figure out a way to make it positive for me. And I think the only, it wouldn't be creative, right? Like what's creative about doing something you already did. There's nothing creative about that. So it would have to be simply money. Yeah. One and, billion dollars. And I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, like, I, I mean, I really say I, they don't have enough money yeah, yeah, to yeah. produce the show and make me do it. Right. Yeah. So so I'm and, yeah. I and, and I really do believe like the past is the past. There's a reason why it was special. Um, and I've even heard Will say this and it's and, and I find it interesting because it's like. Magic isn't something you can just create or just call upon when you want to right the show had magic in its day and there was a reason why it was great the times have changed tv has changed right one even if we recreated the magic we created then it wouldn't be magic today so you'd have to create all new magic with something from the past and i don't think you can do that well the irony is that the shows they have done it with it's working well, Will and Grace is working critically. It's working ratings wise. Full House, number one show on Netflix, believe it or not. Right. Roseanne's coming back. There's a lot of buzz that it might do well. I'm just saying, uh, they have been able to do it. And at the end of the day, it is nice flattering that Absolutely. people still long for it. Absolutely. People still long for it. But you don't want to do the Carlton dance anymore. I, I'm good. You're good. <laughs> I'm good. When I was playing golf this last weekend, um, my pro said, if you, if you got $5, for every time someone asked you to do the Carlton <laughs> dance in four days, you would have made more money than the dude who won a tournament. <laughs> okay? Sure, yeah. The, yeah. The, so that's a yeah, little yeah, perspective, yeah. right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 and, yeah, and I always find it funny because it's like, dude, you ain't the first person to ask all day. Right? No, exactly. <laughs> like, you really exactly. think no, no. that you the first, the dude next they, to you asked you and now you act like you, like you they, said something different. But they think they're original as hell. Huh? Every time. Everybody think they're original. Dude, come on, cool. man. You know you got to dance. When I'm really in a bad mood, <laughs> when I'm really in a bad mood, I, I will Try to be cool. I, I try, no, I'm no, always cool. I'm all, I listen. No, I, know. I, 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 know I make sure cool. I don't. I don't hear the ones who yeah, piss yeah, me yeah. off. But like, <laughs> I, I always say, you know. So let me get this straight. You're asking a black man to dance for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just it, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. really not yeah. cool. No, no, no. I get you. I get you. But no, you know. You, but but like like you just said. Like I've I've said many times. It is flattering. I do get it. The idea that I was able to create something that even today. 20 some odd years later, people still find enjoyable. And um, it really is at the end of the day, an honor that they want that and that they're asking that. And I get to feel the love from them for something that I created, you know, many, many yeah. moons ago that they still love. It's definitely a, a flattering situation, but 
I ain't dancing for you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, two kids, three kids, three kids, three, three kids, kids. I've three got, kids. yeah, my 15 year old daughter, Sienna, okay. um, Alfonso Jr. and Anders. And uh, how old are the boys? Uh, four and two. Four and two. Okay, yeah, so yeah. A, a bit of a gap. And is your uh, well, not much of a gap. They they eighteen no, I mean, months I mean, apart technically. No, no, I meant uh, <laughs> oh, uh, between the daughter. fifteen. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So she's okay. So she's at the age where she she might be driving. It's, soon, it's very right? soon. I'm about to start teaching her how to drive. Isn't that too young? Too no, no, no. Wait, listen, age, I'm, I'm like, having a really tough time. He's a race car driver. It's fine. Yeah, well, but yeah, still. No, right, that's right. Yeah, but, but as a race car driver, you know what can happen. <laughs> yeah, right. Right? Yeah, like, exactly. you know what can happen and in a car. And especially in this town where it's there's a different. million cars. If, you, oh, yeah. if we're like different. in Yuma, Arizona, and there's a car, right, you know what I'm saying? Then it's different. I'm actually trying to figure out where I'm a teacher. Yeah, right, yeah, like yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm not doing it on LA streets. Like that's yeah, a little yeah, too yeah. much to start. Yeah, like it's, it's just scary. a lot going on. It's it's definitely scary yeah. to think about it. Like and what about and definitely all the things that a 15 year old girl goes through. Well, exactly. So you know, what? So what about dating? Media. She's got to be. She's got. Oh no, no, no! I told her she's definitely capable of dating after 25. <laughs> <laughs> just all in. You can date whoever you want at 25. Before that, I don't know nothing about no dude showing up at my house. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna do the Will Smith and. Uh, <laughs> And Martin Lawrence in Bad Boys Three and show up, with, you know, I'm gonna be like, yo, so what up? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, you ain't coming funny, up man. in my house. I got a little time. Um, I got a little time. You, fortunately, you got some time. I know a it's little gonna, bit. It's not creep. a lot. I know it's gonna come fast, bro. I know, I know it's gonna creep. And the boy, well, yeah, they're they're kind of young to be getting in. Yeah, stuff, right. Yeah. No, no, he, they're, they're four and two. Guys. We're good. Yeah. We, you they're know, we chilling. got some time. They just, yeah, yeah we're. Is the shop closed? good there, huh? Is the shop closed? You good? Well. Um, oh. my, my shop wants to be closed. Okay. <laughs> my wife's shop is not closed and wants to create another. Wow. Look at yeah, that. Which I don't quite get, but yeah, I'm yeah. going to keep it at that on radio. <laughs> okay. 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 Fair enough. Before I get sent to the, to the little boy's room and <laughs> yeah, spend yeah. some time hanging out by myself. <laughs> She's very cool. So you'd be lucky. All yes. right. Before I let you go, man, I'm going to put you on the spot. Quick mm. questions, quick answers. Okay. Current song obsession. Um... Uh, flannel by JT. I don't think anybody knows that on the album. Is that on the new? Okay, that's on the new yeah, album. Right. He's got Woods. a great, great song called Flannel. That's my, that's my jam right now. All right. Last show you binge watched? I don't binge watch at all because I ain't got enough time to binge watch. Well, that's why you do binge watch when you don't got the time. You but go on a plane or whatever. You bam. That's I don't the move. like. I go on a plane. I'm trying to watch a movie. Really? Okay. Right. Yeah. Because like okay. I don't even have enough time to like I don't remember the last time I went to a theater. Okay. Like I'm really excited to go see Black Panther. Yeah, I haven't. At I can't some remember either. Point in the next month. Yeah. Like I, I <laughs> might get a day to go to a movie theater and yeah. sit there for two and a half hours and do. Like, I just don't have the time to do it. And I'm by the way, pretty cool problem. Yeah, that's a very yeah, good that's problem. Not, that's, that's not a, a bad, that's a pretty cool yeah. problem. And the kids take over the TV too. Yeah, well, they got right the TV there. at home. Exactly. I, you know, yeah. Nickname growing up. Nickname uh, the Fonz. Okay. I was a huge uh, Happy Days fan Likewise. and Alfonso. So uh, the Fonz was my nickname it, it growing up. I know. I'm, I know that. Like now, I'm a. I'm gonna be out on the golf course and something. But like the Fonz. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you were watching Mario. You were listening to Mario Lopez, weren't you? Uh, <laughs> celebrity crush growing up. Uh, celebrity cu- crush was uh, Porlina Poroskova. Yes. Oh. You know, and I'm yeah, sure you going, know it going, too. You're going OG supermodel. Yeah, hey. Dang. Yes. Porlina. And I met her one day and my wife actually gave me permission to like talk to her and let her know that she was my like kid crush. Was she cool? Um, and she was very cool. Yeah. She, she was very cool. Uh, Rick Ocasek from the Cars. Yep. I think. Absolutely. Right? You're yeah, dead, that, right? That dude overachieved. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he over, over, overachieved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Worst job you ever had? Worst job I ever had, um, I would probably say um, it was great and bad at the same time. I did this show for UK TV called I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Oh. And it's where they take 12 celebrities and take them to Australia and put them in the jungle. So uh, the, the Survivor, essentially. Survivor, Celebrity Big Brother, and Fear Factor all oh. in one. Ooh, that sounds rough. Mm-hmm. Understatement, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. I'm 21 days in there. I lost 24 pounds. Damn. In 21 days. I don't lose, you? If you want to lose weight, that Yo, was a, that's yeah, a good but move. It, I, didn't, I didn't want to lose it like that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know bro, if you're brother, if you're coming brother to- hungry is different than brother go work out. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, Whoa. Crazy. Like they give you, you get rice and beans every day. <laughs> 
Right, and that was me. There was a that joke was me here, growing but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna mess That's with me it. That's me growing up. <laughs> and there was a joke, but I ain't going there. Um, <laughs> but rice and beans every day, and then you had to do stuff to get more food. So, but it was more food like you rice know, crocodile. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, like or bugs or, or something, right? Like yeah, yeah. you know, just stuff that you would like. I didn't hu- heard but, of. But when you're hungry, food. you eat anything, huh? Dude, after day yeah. three, I was like, "Give me the croc." Right. <laughs> Give me the croc. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> went. Okay. Worst job ever, bro. That's a, that's a good one right there. And AJ was two weeks old when I left. Oh. But they, you know, it's one of those things where like they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put they put a number on the table. I was like. Oh well, yeah, you got to do what you got to so do. So how many days? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could do it. Yeah. I think I could do it. <laughs> came back lean. I was, came back, I was like, I shouldn't have done it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and last question, who plays you in the Alfonso Ribeiro story? Who plays me in the Alfonso? Um, I don't even know if there's a young dude out there right now. Um, uh, what's the young dude from um, Tropic Thunder? Uh, 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 Jackson. What's his name? Oh, what um, is that guy's name? I'm, I'm, and he's a, and he's someone I know. So it's like the worst thing in the world that I can't. For, when you first said uh, that, I, I, thought, I, thought I thought Robert Downey, Downey Jr. 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 When you said that, like, Robert, Robert, is, Robert Downey would kill it. By the way, which, by the way, <laughs> he do a great in, job. In Tropic Thunder, he was he was really <laughs> cool as a black tight. dude. Um, uh, Brendan T. Jackson. Yes. Uh, he, okay. he he Brandon Brandon would be my dude. I think to play me in the Alfonso, but he's not that much younger than me. But if they did a story of me, sure. it clearly is too early to do it anyway. That'd be some good <laughs> casting, man. Well, hey, come back and hang anytime. Absolutely, Mario. And meanwhile, watch America's Funniest Home Videos airing Sundays at seven Eastern. You can follow him on Instagram at the Real Alfonso Ribeiro. Thanks for stopping by, man. Thanks, brother. On with Mario Lopez.